Hi guys! Narito tayo muli para ituloy itong ating ginagawang series of discussion sa statics of rigid bodies. Ang topic natin ngayon ay isa pang sample problem about the application of cross product of vectors. This time, gagamitin natin ang cross product of vectors in the determination of the distance between a point and a plane. Ganito ang problem guys. Determine the distance from the point to the plane containing the points A, B, and C. So in the illustration, we have a triangular plate resting at the corner of a space. The dimensions of the plates are indicated or the position of the points where the plate is resting is indicated and doon may distances na siya. So, ang hinahanap natin dito, gaano ba kalayo itong point O doon sa a triangular plate? So, bago natin masolve itong problem, eh, balikan natin yung mga konsepto na maaari gamitin natin in dealing with this kind of problem. Una, Alam natin na yung shortest distance daw between a point and a plane is the distance of the line drawn from the point perpendicular to the plane. Sabi, yung daw distance mula daw dito, papunta dito sa plane at tinutukoy, ay yung a distance of the perpendicular line that will be drawn. So if you will be drawing a point from point O to the plane, okay, yung length na yun, yun ang distance. Okay. And the direction of the line perpendicular to the plane is the direction of the cross product of any two vectors lying in the plane. And we call that as n sub c. So, how are we going to consider that concept in solving the problem? So, balikan natin yung distance of the line drawn from the point perpendicular to the plane. So, if we're going to okay, draw this line, Imagine natin that okay, on this uh, point, we are drawing a line that is perpendicular to the plane. Then that line is perpendicular to the plane. Yung length nito, mula dito hanggang dito, yun yung distance na hinahanap natin sa problem. While this concept, the direction of the line perpendicular to the plane is the direction of the cross product of any two vectors lying on the plane. So, yung direction na yun, tinutukoy, ito yung, yung direction to. So, if this direction is perpendicular, then this direction is what we mean as the direction of the cross section of the two vectors lying in the plane. And what about any two vectors lying in the plane? So, this is just any pair of vectors that can, that can be found on the plane. It could be the position vector of A, B, and A, C. Pwede itong dalawa na nakikita natin dito. O kaya naman, yung R, B, C at R, B, A. Ito naman. Nakita ninyo, no? So, kung titan natin, if we will be talking of the cross product of R, B, C, R, B, A, then this direction, the blue that you are seeing here, is the direction of that cross product and that is perpendicular to the plane. Pwede rin naman itong R, C, B, at RCA, itong dalawang vector na ito na nakikita natin ito. These two vectors will also produce a direction of the cross product in the same direction as the direction of the point that we are actually okay, uh, dealing with. Itong distance ito mula dito hanggang dito. Okay? So, halimbawa sabihin natin, establish natin yung coordinates ng bawat points. Anyway, we are given naman the positions at which A, B, C are Okay, located. Kaya, ano yung coordinates ng point A? So, kung dito natin sa figure, point A has a coordinate of okay, uh, 0, 12, 0, 0, and 12. While, okay, point B has a coordinate of 16, 0, 0. Kaya, ayan, may 16, 0, 0 tayo. And that of point C is, or has a coordinate of 0, 9, 0. And so, with that of point C. So, kung pipiliin natin yung cross product ng RAB at RAC, 
Ito yun. Malikyan natin ito ha. Kung saan ang kanyang coordinate ay given dito. So, establish natin yung kanyang position vector. Mag-start tayo with RAC. Ang RAC natin, R A, I'm sorry, RAB natin will be 16 minus 0, okay, I plus 0 minus 0, J plus 0 minus 12, K. Kaya pag sinimplify natin ito, ito ay 16I plus 0J minus 12K. Samantalang ito namang RAC na ito, na kung saan ang kanyang coordinates ay itong dalawa. Okay? So how do we get the uh, position vector of RAC? RAC will be the difference between the coordinates of C and that of A. That is 0 minus 0I plus 9 minus 0J plus 12 minus K. So, sorry, 0 minus 12K. Kaya ang ating RAZ will be 0I plus 9J minus 12K. Kaya kung uh, susulbin natin yung kanyang cross, cross product at gamitan natin ng third order determinant, then we will have this again. Okay? Yung kanyang cross product shall be the determinants of, again, I am uh, uh, giving emphasis, ano, yung first row nitong ating determinant shall be the first element of uh, the cross product and that is equal to 16, 0 and negative 12 while the second row of the determinant shall be the second element of the cross product ito naman siya so we have here a 0, 9 and negative 12 at yung third element is ij so we will extend we will apply the extended form of the okay, determinants and that is equal to Okay, the first row is just copied as well as the second row. Kaya, when we solve for i, okay, we, take just, we just take these uh, elements. And so, i will be those arrows of a product that is directed arrows than 1 will be positive. And so, this will be what? That is 0. While this one will be uh, uh, sorry, positive 108i. And for j, okay, we take this part. So, I have here a okay, 12 times 0 will be 0. Minus 12 times neg uh, negative 12 times 16 will be what? Positive 192. And then for the K, take this part. So 16 times 9 equal to 144. And this one will be equal to 0. Kaya pag sinimplify natin itong ating cross product, C will be equal to 108I plus 192J plus 144k. Ito ngayon, yung cross product ng anumang vector o ng particular vector na RAB at RAC. Kaya kung kukunin natin ngayon yung kanyang direction, makukuha natin itong direction ito. Diba? Ayan na ba yung formula ng direction? Ang direction ay, okay, formula ng direction ay, okay, N over, I'm sorry, C over C sub M. Kaya ipinagsinapsunod natin yung value, this Okay, the numerator is actually our C, which is this one. And the denominator is the distance, I'm sorry, the magnitude of that C, which is equal to the square root of 108 plus 192 plus 144. And that gives us a value of 108I plus 192J plus 144K over the square root of 69264. So, ngayon ang ating direction, and this direction is expressed as a unit vector. Ba? Ngayon, ano ba ang uh, interpretation natin? Ano, pag meron tayong unit vector, okay, kaya kailangan alam natin uh, paano ba siya i-interpret. Okay, tingnan natin yung unit vector. Okay, meron tayong tatlong element sa taas, yung numerator natin. If this two shall be taken, itong dalawa na ito, 108 over the square root of 6, 9, 2, 6, 8, ito yung tinatawag nating description kung papaano na, na direction ng uh, nitong angle nito and that gives us the cosine of the direction angle ibig sabihin ang cosine nitong angle nito mula dito papunta dito because this is x is equal to that magnitude yun samantalang yung 192 over the square root of 69264 yun naman ang direction cosine nitong direction nito mula sa direction ng y ito yung angle nito ba angle nito Samantalang itong part naman, 144, will be the direction cosine of the same direction from the c-axis. Kaya ako ipapakita yan, ganito, ano? So, yung kanyang cosine theta sub x, 
Okay, yan yung body na yan. So, ipinakita ko na yung magnitude. So, how are we going to explain that? So, pakita natin yan, no? Itong angle na ito nakita natin, ulitin ko lang, ha? Itong angle na ito, ito yung tinatawag nating, okay, theta sub x, na kung saan ang kanyang cosine is this magnitude. Ano? Yan. Samantalang itong angle naman ito, yun. Nakita yung angle, ulitin ko lang, ha? Yan. So, this angle is, uh, Okay, the angle that the uh, the direction of the cross, cross product is making with respect to the y-axis at ang kanyang cosine is this magnitude. At ganun din itong sa theta sub j mula sa z-axis. Okay, papunta doon sa direction ng atin. Yun yung ating z sub j. Ano, balikan lang. Balikan lang atin. That is the magnitude. Okay? And the cosine of that is 144 over the square root of 69264. Ngayon, Paano natin nagamitin yan? Okay. Now, kung, kung i-consider natin yung point P na kung saan yung direction ay nag-cross sa plane. O tawagin natin itong pina ito. Do you see this part? Itong yun, yung pina yun. Okay? So, makikita natin that we are forming a triangle. So, we are forming a triangle. Ano yung triangle natin? Okay ko. Napakaraming triangle. But in particular, I'd like you to focus this triangle. Triangle O, P, and T. Yun. Consider natin yung triangle OPC. Okay, if we will be describing the triangle, the triangle is a right triangle. Diba? At ano yung kanyang right angle? Yung angle P, itong angle na ito, angle P, is the right angle. Kaya kung i-drawing natin yan, ilipat natin to dito sa kabila. Yung angle na yan is theta, theta sub y. Ano? Ilipat natin yun. Ito yung kanyang mga elements. We have point O, we have point C dito, at you have point P. Itong angle na ito, yung theta sa buhay na kung saan ang kanyang cosine na ito. Diba? So, since that is a right triangle, okay, yung element ng uh, triangle na yan, the distance from O sa Y, representing this magnitude 9. Ito rin yun. At ang hinahanap natin dito, yung perpendicular distance from O to the plane, and that is the distance O, o to P. And if you're going to look at that OP, kaya ay makukuha sa pamagitan ng function ng right triangle. So, what function of right triangle is that? That is, cosine of theta sub y equal to the line OP, which is the known, divided by the hypotenuse, which is equal to 9. And if this will be simplified, okay, take note, ano? Itong cosine of theta sub y natin is already defined by the direction, which is this element. Itong nakikita natin may kulay yellow sa baba. Diba? Kapag in-equate natin siya dito, okay, ano nga yung mangyayari? So, we can now solve for the value of OP and that is equal to 6.56. At kahit gamitan natin itong uh, ibang triangle na makikita natin dito, mula dito sa OPB o kaya naman ay OPA. Yung distance OP na yun will still be the same as the Uh, adjacent side of the angle. Ito yung ating theta sub x at ito naman yung ating theta sub y. And you will be getting the same magnitude as a O sub P here. O P in a distance of 6.566 uh, millimeter. So, ganyan guys ang uh, uh, approach o application ng cross product. At nakita ninyo, naging useful siya in the determination of the distances between a point and align the point and okay, non-parallel, non-intersecting uh, non vectors even in the point and a parallel uh, and a plane. So, sa mga katwid guys, uh, uh, sana naintindihan niyo yung isa pang application na pinakita natin dito sa ating video presentation. At sana huwag kayo magkasawang uh, uh, samahan ako sa ating series of discussions. Kaya, Muli ko kayong inimbitahan na i-subscribe itong channel ko. At kung kayo may mga katanungan, okay, you write your questions on the comment box. And sana in my next upload ay ma masagot ko yung inyong mga katanungan. Again, thank you very much for watching.